Good morning, viewers. Welcome to the session devotionals for this morning. By the grace of God, we'll be looking at the topic Destiny Helpers and Angelic Helps. Destiny Helpers and Angelic Helps. Under the series, The Reality of Great Expert, host Mohammed Salvika K. Text taken from the book of Exodus, chapter 4, from verse 1 down to 31. But let's pray before we begin. Father, for the bread in our ministries, we come to say thank you this morning. We come to hear your word. We ask that God speak to us and grant us understanding. Said according to your divine power, you will make all things available to us. According to Second Peter 1 3. Father, we come to seek the knowledge of your word this morning. Speak to us and grant us understanding. For in Jesus' name we we'll pray. Topic one more time Destiny help us and angelic helps. On that series, the reality of great expert, host Mahambras Abdullah K. Text in the book of Exodus chapter 4, from verse 1 down to 31. I read from verse 1. And Moses answered and said, But behold, they will not believe me, nor hearken unto my voice, for they will say, The Lord hath not appeared unto, unto thee. And in verse 12, Now therefore go, and I will be with thy mouth, and teach thee what thou shalt say. That is the first helper he had, that is God himself. And in verse 29, And Moses and Aaron, so he had another companion called Aaron and Moses and Aaron went and gathered together all the elders of the children of Israel and the people believe. In verse 31, may the Lord bless his word and grant us understanding in Jesus' name for the reading Genesis chapter 2 from verse 125, thus the heavens and the earth was finished and all the host of them and on the seventh day God ended his work which he had made and he rested on the seventh day. And in verse 7, and the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breath into his nurses and the bread of life. And man became a living soul. And verse 8, and the Lord God planted in his word in Eden, and there he put the man which he has formed. And in verse 15, and the Lord took the man and put him to take charge to dress the garden of Eden. And in verse 18, and the Lord God said, It is not good for man should be alone. I will make him a help meet for him. That is where the beginning of destiny helpers came in and it was 21 and the lord god caused a deep sleep upon adam and of course took out of his rib and the woman was formed and it was 23 when he arose said indeed is the bone of my bone and the flesh of my of my flesh she shall be called woman because she's taken out of man they were both together and the lord said in verse 24 therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and cleave unto his wife and they shall be one flesh and they were both naked the man and the wife and they were not a shame. First Chronicles chapter 12 from verse 1 down to 23. Let's see David and also his destiny helpers that he had. Now these are they that came to David to Ziglar in verse 1 while he had kept himself close because of Saul the son of Kish and they were among the mighty men helpers of the war. Mighty men helpers of the war. And in verse 2, they were armed with bows and could use both the right hand and the left in holding stones and shooting arrows out of a bow, even of Saul's brethren, Benjamin, and in verse 3, the chief was Ahaza, the Joash, the son of Shema, the Gibeite, and Jezel, and Pelat, the sons of Amavet, and Baracha, and Jehu, the Atonite. Keep on naming them, and in verse 7 said, and Jola, and Zebada, the sons of Jeroham, of Gebel, and in verse 8, and of the Gidites, they separated themselves unto David into the hole, to the wilderness, men of might men of war, fit for the battle, that could handle shield and buckler, whose faces were like the faces of lion, and were as swift as the roars upon the mountains. Verse 9, Ezad the first, Obadiah the second, Eliab the third, and all that kept on naming and naming. So David enjoyed destiny helpers, and of course he had so much, so much victory. And read down to verse 22, said, For at that time, day by day, they came to David to help him, until he was a great host, like the host of God. And in verse 23, and these are the numbers of the bands that were already armed to the war, and came to David to Hebron to turn the kingdom of Saul to him according to the word of the Lord. I pray your life will never lack this thing help us in Jesus' name. By the time you call one, ten will answer in Jesus' name. Daniel, there's another great one. Daniel chapter 10 from verse 3 down to 14. I can read because of time, talking about the angel of the Lord came to impact upon him special gift because he enjoyed the helps of the Lord. Maybe at a leisure time you can read that. Psalm chapter 46 from verse 1 down to uh, 7 he said, God is our refuge and strength a very present help in trouble. I pray God will be your number one destiny helper 
in Jesus' name. Verse 2 says, Therefore, will not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea? Verse 3 says, Though the waters therefore row, and the trouble comes and all that, but because God is our help, definitely victory is certain. Psalm chapter 60 from us, uh, 11 and 12 said, Give us help from trouble. Say, Give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of man. Say, True God, we shall do valiantly. For he is that that tread down our enemies. I pray God will be your helper in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 44, 2 to 4 said, Thus says the Lord God that made thee and formed thee from the womb, which will help thee. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, and thou, Jeshurun, whom I have chosen. I pray God will raise Jeshurun that will stand by you and will help you all the days of your life in Jesus' name. Matthew chapter 4, from verse 1 down to 11, and when Jesus led up, of the spirit into the wilderness to tempt the devil, he was there for 40 days, 49, and of course kept on being tempted by the devil after he resisted and he had victory in verse 10. Then Jesus said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan, for this written. Only God will I worship. And of course, in verse 11, then the devil liberated him. And the angels of the Lord came and ministered unto him. I pray the angels of God will be your help. In Jesus, and when you need angelic visitation, they will come to help you in Jesus. In Luke chapter 5, from verse 1 down to 11, we see Jesus took the boat of Peter, used it to teach, to minister to the brethren. When he was done, he told them, Cast your net for a drought. And of course, Simon said, Master, in verse 5, we are tall all night and are taking nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will lay down the net. And in verse 6, and when they had done this, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their net break. And they beckoned on their own destiny helpers on their partners. And they came in other ship and they filled all the ships with the fishes. But they were all astonished in verse 9. And of course in verse 10. And so also James and John and the sons of Zebedee, which were partners with Simeon. And Jesus said unto Simeon, Fear not, for henceforth ye shall catch men. And in verse 11. And when they had brought the ship to the land, to the shore. And of course they forsook all and they followed Jesus, I pray God will grant you destiny helpers all your life in Jesus' name. One more time topic, destiny helpers and angelic helps. On that series, the reality of great expert, who's my humble self, okay, text taken in the book of Exodus chapter 4 from verse 1 down to 31, we'll further read in Genesis 2, 1 to 25, First Chronicles 12, 1 to 23, Daniel 10, 3 to 14, Psalm 46, 1 down to 7, Psalm chapter 60, 11 to 12, Isaiah 44, 2 to 4, Matthew 4, 1 to 11, Luke 5, 1 to 11, Romans 16, 1 or 9. Please, at your free time, you can read all these Bible passages again. And I'm sure God will speak to you and you're going to be blessed through them in Jesus' name. Thinking cap, a mind blowing word for this morning is Until God becomes one's fundamental destiny helper, other helpers will fail. And one's destiny becomes limited. I take that again. Until God becomes one's fundamental destiny helper, other helps will fail. And one's destiny becomes limited. Think about this. Today we'll look at the topic, Destiny Helpers and Angelic Helps under the teaching series on the reality of great exploit. For way of introduction, let's know that life can't prosper and triumph without Destiny Helpers. Life is designed from the beginning to enjoy partnership. So anyone who thinks he can make a great destiny alone without any spiritual and physical helps must just be joking. Even God created Eve as helpmeet for Adam, his first creation. He was mighty as Moses was, neither Joshua to lead the Israelites' army to war, and neither Bezali to walk in all work machine for the temple of God to be completed. Then you and I must need our destiny helpers because men will be overwhelmed with responsibilities. And as, well, and as such, you need someone to share the body with you. And on this note, we'll be learning about destiny helpers and angelic helps. And I pray at the end of this 10 minute slide, God will grant you understanding of this subject matter and also grant you divine helps and also bring to your way your destiny helpers in jesus name in genesis chapter 2 from verse 1 to 25 we see the partnership that's the beginning of where destiny help has come in god making eve to help adam exodus chapter 17 from verse 9 down to 11 and moses said unto joshua choose out men and go fight the amalek tomorrow i will stand on the top of the hill with the rod of god in my hand so Joshua did as Moses have said to him and fought to the Amalek. And Moses, Aaron, and Hor went up to the top of the hill. And of course, they prevailed. They came out victorious. All because Joshua led the army. Of course, same Exodus chapter 31, from verse 2 down to 6, we see God 
tell him, Moses said, I've called by name Bezali, the son of Guru. Say, look for him, let him walk and all walk my sheep in the building of the temple. And we saw how beautiful the temple ended up being because these guys who God have put all manners of skills and all, you know, agility came to work and the work and the work came out beautiful. Name my chapter two from verse five down to eighteen. Said and I said unto the king, Give me please the king. And if I find favor, send me to the city of my father separately. I may build that's Nehemiah, a cup bearer, just a servant in the house in the king palace, King Atesasis precisely. And of course the king gave him that which he needed. So the king became a destiny helper to Nehemiah. And of course, when Nehemiah got to the city, he gathered his brethren and told them the hand of the Lord is upon him and called them that they should come to build this born city. And they came and they had mind to work. They walked. And in just 52 days, they completed that building of that city. In Nehemiah chapter 6, six verse 15, you can read that in Nehemiah chapter 4, you can see how they came and worked vehemently until they achieved their dreams. Romans chapter 16, from 1 to 9, we saw uh, Paul speaking there. I commend you unto Phoebe, our sister, which is a servant of the church, which is at Kenstria, said in verse 2, that ye receive her in the Lord as becoming saint, and that ye assist her in whatever business she had need of you. And she had been a sorcerer of many, she had been a sorcerer of many rather, and of myself also, said in verse 3, great Priscilla and Aquila, my help pass in Christ, said verse 4, said, who have for my life laid down their own necks, Unto whom not only I give thanks, but also all the churches of the Gentiles. And in verse 5 said, Likewise, greet the church that is at the house, and the house salute my well beloved Epanatus, which is the first fruit of Achilia, of Archia, unto Christ. Say, Greet Mary, who bestow much labor on us. Verse 7 says, Salute Adronicus and Jumea, my kinsmen, and my fellow prisoners, who were of note among the apostles, who were in Christ before me. So he kept on measuring men. A man that was destiny help us and no wonder Paul became great. I pray God will bring your destiny help us your way and grant you angelic visitation and helps in Jesus' name. We've been trying to look at this subtopic was the reality of great exploit. And we saw four points so far. The first point we saw that great exploit is real when we believe in the testimony and the act of great exploit of the past that God have done. We saw another point again the second day. That great exploit is real when we walk on our belief on our great exploit dreams that we've heard or that we've caught. Also saw that great exploit is real when we meditate and plan our dreams to reality. We saw that great exploit is also real when we walk and dig around our dreams. Please, I want to ref I want to charge you to reference all of the teaching series on this platform from day one till yesterday, and certainly you're gonna be blessed in Jesus' name. Today, to take us further, we're looking at the fifth point. What's yeah. the reality of great exploit? That is, is great exploit real? The answer is in affirmation. Okay, yes, it is real. But we engage and we enjoy destiny help us and angelic helps. I pray God will grant you and count out your destiny help us and angelic helps in Jesus' name. So we're looking at what's the reality? What's the reality of great exploit? And in affirmation, we said when we engage and enjoy destiny help us, and angelic no, help, then we're going to see the reality of great expert. And I pray this month, this year, the remaining 10 years, the remaining lifetime of your life on this earth, you who encounter destiny help us and angelic helps, and you will fulfill destiny in Jesus' name. <laughs> One more time, what's the reality of great exploit? Well, in affirmation, when we engage and enjoy destiny help us and angelic help, this is a direct partnership and engagement with divine destiny help us, being them physical or spiritual for the fulfillment of one great expert on this earth. We're talking about engaging and enjoying destiny help us and angelic help. And we said it is a direct partnership and engagement with divine destiny help us, being them physical or spiritual for the fulfillment of one's great exploit destiny on this earth. And I pray you will encounter destiny help us both physically and spiritually in Jesus' name. And for so much after 18 from 1 down to 16, and it came to pass when he had made an end of speaking with Saul, that the soul of Jonathan was keen with the soul of David. And Jonathan loved him as he loved his own soul. And verse 2, okay, and Saul about, took him that day uh, and would not let him go to his house, but kept him in his house. Then Jonathan and David made a covenant because he loved him okay, as his own soul. And Jonathan stripped himself of the robe that was upon him and gave it to David and his garment, even to his sword and to his bow and to his girdle. Okay, and in verse 5, and David went out. 
whatsoever. So sent him and behaved himself wisely. Of course, in verse 11, and so cast javelin, he wanted to kill David when he saw that everyone loved David. But God was with David, and God kept on granting David uh, deliverance. And Saul was afraid of David because the Lord was with him. And in verse 16, and all Israel and Judah loved David because he went out and came in before them. I pray God will be your fundamental destiny helper in Jesus' name. And he will also bring your way other destiny okay, helpers as well in I Jesus' name. In Joshua chapter 10 from verse 6 down to 13. And the men of Gibeon sent unto Joshua to the camp of Gilda, saying, Slap not thy hand for thy servant. Come up quickly and save us and help us. For all the kings of the Amorites that dwell in the mountains are gathered together against us. So Joshua ascended from Gilgal, he and all the people of war with him. That means Joshua had destiny helpers with him. And these ones became destiny helpers to the men of Gibeon. They went and joined them in the battle. And of course, they had victory. It was it. And the Lord said unto Joshua, Fear not, go. I will deliver the enemies into your hand. And Joshua, therefore, in verse 9, came unto them suddenly and went up from Gilead all night. Verse 10, and the Lord discomfited them before Israel and slew them with a great slaughter at Gibeon and chased them along the way that goeth up to the bathroom and smote them to Azaka and unto Makkah. And in verse 11, and came to pass as they fled from before Israel, that God himself cast stones upon them and they died. What am I trying to say? Joshua commanded the sun to stand still. And of course, the sun stood still and he battled and destroyed all the enemies. Why? Because he enjoyed destiny helpers okay, backing and divine backing. And I pray this will be your own testimony as well in Jesus' name. Nehemiah chapter 2, verse 5 down to 18. We see uh, King Atezasis was a destiny helper to Nehemiah. He gave him timber, gave him security, gave him all he needed to go rebuild the burn down city. And in verse 4, we saw men partnering with. Nehemiah and they came and built and they had victory in verse 6 verse 15 in 52 days they completed that which they were doing in Luke chapter 5 from verse 1 down to 11 we see Jesus used the boat of Peter to preach afterward he asked him to cast his net into the deep for a drought and he did that and of course Peter had destiny empires James and many of them who were with him they came fill up all their boat with the fishes that they caught, I pray God will bring your way destiny help us and enjoy your helps in Jesus name Lastly, we love blessing not only God helps a man, his helpers will definitely fail him. Take that again, beloved. Let's not learn to God helps a man, his helpers will definitely fail him. Also, we must know that only God knows the heart of men, and only him can connect and choose the right destiny helpers to us. However, God will only connect you to like minds if only you are his son. As such, I implore you to accept and to confess Jesus to your Lord and the Savior, so he will grant you the right connection to your right destiny helpers. And I pray. God will grant you destiny help us in Jesus' name. Psalm 40, okay, verse 13 says, Be pleased, O God, to deliver me, O God, make haste to help me. God will help you in Jesus' name. Psalm 42, 26 says, Arise, arise for our help and redeem us for thy mercy's sake. And of course, <coughs> same Psalm chapter 60, verse 11 says, Give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of man. To give us help from trouble for vain is the help of man. I pray God will help you by himself in Jesus' name. John chapter 15, 4 to 7 said, Abide in me, and you as a branch cannot be a fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No man except he abide in me. Said verse 5 said, I am the vine, he are the branches. He that abided in me, and I in him the same bring forth much fruit. For without me ye can do nothing. So if God does not help you, no man can help you. Remember in First Kings, a woman was crying, Oh, King, help me. King said, I can't help you. If God does not help you, no man can help you. King himself needed help. I pray God will be your helper from this day going forward. In Jesus' name, Galatians, Galatians 3, 10 and 14, Christ will be demons from the cost of the Lord, be made a cost for us, for to reason, cause everyone that hang in our retreat, and the blessing of Abraham may come on the Gentiles. I pray as you are wise enough to accept Jesus, he will be your helper indeed in Jesus. And you truly want to say yes to him, place your hand on your chest, bow your head, and repeat this prayer after me, Jesus. I come to you this morning, and I'm a sinner. Forgive me my sins. I know if you, if you should come right now, I'm going to miss heaven. Father, forgive me my sins. Wash me with your blood and purify me. I confess you to be my Lord and my Savior, right man, in the book of life. Grant me grace to please you all the days of my life. And Father, from this day, grant me my destiny helpers and be my help as well. For in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Take two prayers. First prayer, Father, destroy every evil friend around me. And connect me to my destiny helpers 
and angelic helps all through my life and endeavors in Jesus name first Chronicles chapter 12 verse 1 now these are they that came to David to Ziglar while he had kept himself close because of Saul the son of Kish and they were among the mighty men helpers of war God will bring you men that will help you fulfill destiny in Jesus name with this understanding let's pray father destroy every evil friends around me and connect me to my destiny helper and angelic helps in the name of Jesus the same way the angels help Joshua help me oh God Father, destroy every evil friend around me and connect with my destiny helpers and angelic helps all through my life and all through my endeavors. Thank you for hearing me. For in Jesus' name I pray. Last prayer, Father, raise true destiny helpers that will lift Nigeria higher economically in Jesus' name. Nehemiah chapter 6, verse 15. In 52 days, the wall that was burned down in Judah was rebuilt via the hand of Nehemiah and his brethren. With his understanding, let's say, Father, raise true destiny help us that will lift nigeria higher economically in jesus name thank you for hearing us for in jesus name we pray join me pray this prayer share this gospel and be blessed from intercession mission god blesses you tomorrow i pray that this day will be a day of good news and favor for you in jesus name